Hey guys, Nick from KN Tech here. Today I'm going to be making myself a test bench. Now I've been after a test bench for a little while now. I've been looking online and I've seen all the ones that you can buy and I think for the money they seem to be a little bit overpriced. I've also been looking at some of the ones that have been made by some YouTubers online, some of the home builds, and whilst they do the job, they don't really have the look that I'm going for. I want something that looks nice and clean and tidy, so I'm going to have a go at making one myself. So I've got this old PC tower case which has been hanging around for a little while now. So I'm going to see if I can use this as the basis and knock one up that looks a little bit more professional. So come along with the ride guys and we'll see how it turns out. This is the case I'm using. It's an ATX full tower case. That's going to give me plenty of options and lots of metal I can cut to make it fit. I'm going to start with a tear down, but to save you guys the time of watching through this, I'm going to run this through at four times the speed. Please feel free to slow it down if you want to see how I take it apart. So now we're going to drill the rivets. I'm using a 4mm drill because these are 3mm rivets. I just want to take the caps off them. Just taking the caps off didn't release the panel. So now I'm going to use a 3mm drill to remove the entire rivet. Okay guys, so we've moved out to my garage so I can get the cutting and the drilling done. And you can see I've already made some cuts on the motherboard tray. So this is effectively how the tray looked originally. So I've cut out the portion of the motherboard tray that we're going to use. And of course, because we've got a flat edge on there, what I've done is I've cut the piece from the other end. So what we're going to do is we are going to attach that on there like that with rivets which is going to allow us to attach the side panels on so first i'm going to have to clean up these edges because these are real sharp you can't really see but these are actually quite sharp so i'm going to clean these edges up Okay, so before I cut any of the side panels out, I'm just going to do a quick test fit. I've already marked out the left side and the right side panels that I'm going to cut out of this, which is the bottom panel. And so I'm just going to offer up the motherboard tray and see how that hooks up. So you can see that's going to be the left side and I'm going to be cutting the side panel out down here so that it's not going to be in the way of the motherboard. And I'm also going to be cutting this power supply uh, mount here, which I'm going to mount underneath. Okay guys, so I've cut all the pieces I need and I'm now going to just uh, offer them up together so we can see if everything fits. Again, it's just a dry fit, which basically means I'm not actually going to 
attach anything finely yet. I just want to make sure it all kind of fits in in the way that I would expect it to. But the plan is that they are all going to fit. So that effectively is going to be my test bench. Uh, I still may do something with this because I'm not sure I need all of this this far up yet so I may actually kind of come down here along and then back along just to get rid of this top part here but I'm not yet sure uh, and the plan is once this is actually fitted together to have it raised up a little bit maybe on a slant maybe like that I'm not quite sure yet but so I can put the power supply underneath and then maybe even a radiator if I want to do some water cooling. Okay, so I'm gonna use rivets, which is these things that are already on here. Now I've already put the first one in here, which is just gonna hold this back tray, this back plate against the actual motherboard tray itself. Now these two were already joined, so I know that this is the right position for it in terms of the location of the standoffs and the CP and the uh, uh, main board um, blanking plate there, the shroud. So I've already put the one in, which you can see right there, and it looks identical to the ones that are already in there. So I'm just going to go ahead and put the second one in so you can see how they actually how they actually uh, attach. So you simply get the rivet like so. You put it in the hole. You take your rivet tool and you put it on the rivet. And you simply squeeze and squeeze. And eventually what will happen is it'll break off. And there you have your rivet. Okay, so I've managed to get the right hand side all uh, riveted up and I'm just gonna do the same with the left hand side. So there you have it guys, that's my uh, motherboard tray and we're ready to go in the actual test rig itself. Okay, you'll see I've actually trimmed down the uh, back plate above the IO shield here. It was a little bit higher and I think I mentioned earlier that I was gonna think about cutting this down. So I've trimmed this down. And what I've also done is I've taken the front panel from the old case and I've managed to cut a piece of it off the bottom uh, and I've actually used these as legs. So I've actually already attached those on the back. So that's got it. That's got the legs on the back. Now you can see uh, on the back there. And also I've put a back panel on, which is where if I decide I want to, I'm going to put a radiator on it. If I want to do water cooling with this. Um, so all I have left to do now is uh, put the side panels on. I'm going to leave the front open. Okay. So here's one of the side panels. Uh, and this is what I'm going to use for the side panels of the actual test bed and that's mainly because it's finished nicely along the edges here and, and these are obviously going to add a little bit of stiffness as well because obviously it's double folded uh, the uh, aluminium of the steel here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a couple of side panels out and I'm going to use those to fit on the side of the actual test bench itself. Okay so I've now cut the side panels out and you can see here what I was what I was alluding to here. So this is the side panel that's going to fit on the side of the test bench and this is the uh, the double folded steel at the, at the edges which is going to give it a little bit more rigidity so the plan is for these to sit on the side like this which means the whole unit is going to sit about this far up off the ground so the one last thing left to do now and that's to cut a panel out of one of the side panels to put the uh, power supply mount um, basically I'm going to cut this in here and it's going to be mounted on the inside like that so that I can then bolt the power supply in from the outside and again I'm going to be using rivets just to hold this to the side case. Okay so I've cut a hole in the side panel for the power supply uh, so this is going to fit on the side like that. And this other, obviously this one's going to fit on the other side. So now all I have to do is uh, assemble it and, uh, and then we'll see what it looks like and then I'll think about painting it. So 
So I've attached the side panels now and it's actually almost finished. It's coming on, it's looking like it's actually gonna finish. I've put some standoffs on there just so we can see uh, roughly how it's gonna how it's gonna hook up. So looking at the back of it, we have the uh, your GPU mounts here and your accessories in your PCI slots and what have you. Uh, radiator can go in here if I decide to put one in. Obviously I may or may not. Uh, if I do put the radiator on, I'm gonna mount the pump and the res on the side of the uh, left-hand side of the case. Uh, motherboard tray there, obviously you've got the uh, 24 pins gonna be around here somewhere, so the power supply cable is gonna come straight up and out, plug in there, and this other side. And I've actually just fitted a power supply just to uh, mock it up and see what it's gonna look like. Um, so, so yeah, I'm fairly, fairly pleased with it. All I gotta do now is uh, I'm gonna start thinking about how I'm gonna paint it, so I'm gonna take all the components off of it all the standoffs and the power supply and what have you, give it a little sand down and start setting work on painting it. Okay, so I've given it a good sand down, which means the paint should stick to it. It's all nice and clean and dry. And so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna stick on a little primer coat, a very light dusting, and we'll see what it looks like. And then hopefully we should be painting the rest of it either later on today or tomorrow. So there we have the first coat of primer, I'm going to let that dry and then I shall come back and give it some uh, top coat, a glossy coat, a nice white satiny gloss sort of finish and uh, we'll, see, yeah, we'll see what it looks like. So that's the top coat done and I've lacquered it to seal the paintwork. I also had a go at putting a channel logo on it. It looks okay from a distance but when you get up close it doesn't look all that clean so I'm probably going to be removing it. So here we can see it's all been finished and I've put a mainboard in it and this is going to be my next project so keep an eye out for that. So there you go guys, there's my homemade test bench. I hope you enjoyed the video and maybe even inspired you to have a go at doing one yourself. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Put a comment down below, maybe you've got one yourself, maybe you've had a go at building one yourself. Let me know what you're using and what you think. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification to be notified when I put up new videos. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you on the next one.